Shavuot Tov, everyone. Welcome to Tillus Tell Stories for Saturday night. The title of this week's video is The Spy Who Came In From The Heat. I adapted it from the English Weekly in Israel, Living Jewish. Uh, Yocheved Biton, that's not her real name. Her real name is known here in Tzfat, Israel, but it has been changed for security reasons. Uh, she gets ready for a special mission. Information has to be collected through careful observation. And it is a challenge to find out what the university students who are working for Hamas are up to without arousing suspicion. She covers her hair in the style of a Muslim woman. She reminds herself not to ask too many questions this time, or there might be serious trouble. Yocheved, now a married observant woman with children, risks her life every day to spy on student terrorist groups. She reflects on the special mission she was given in the army. They gave us a four-month course in Arabic, that I, which I really didn't need. My mother is Moroccan, and we speak Arabic at home. Anyway, sometimes I was found out, but it wasn't my accent that gave me away. It was all the questions I was asking. Uh, she is pleased that her underground efforts bore fruit. She notes that as a result of the information she provided, they managed to catch many potential terrorists, students who would almost certain who would almost certainly be a major source of trouble today. Uh, these discoveries were not painless. Yocheved received a total of seven bullet wounds during her years as an army spy. Fortunately, none of these injuries caused her permanent damage. Uh, plus, they showed her that God was protecting her during her missions. Yocheved was able to recognize God's influence in her life because of her traditional background. My mother lit Shabbat candles. Also, I knew about the Rebbe of Lubavitch and could recite the 12 special verses by heart as he requested of all Jewish children. It was because of these things that I was able to return to Judaism. After the army, after the army like many other Israelis, Yocheved went to India. She studied Eastern religions and meditation and even opened a restaurant with a friend. I was doing... And she, she, uh, she reports, I was doing all kinds of things that interested me, but I couldn't find a point to my life. When I came across in India, I started getting that point. Yocheved's return to Judaism began with her interest in, classic Hasidic foundation, in the classic Hasidic foundational work known as Tanya, which was composed by the first Rebbe of Chabad, Rabbi Shneo Zalman. While still in India, she attended the Tanya classes given by Hasidim in India regularly. I assumed I, I assumed I knew all about Judaism already, she recalls, but Tanya was an eye-opener. I kept going to the Tanya classes, that, and that's what really brought me back to Jewish observance. After returning to Israel, Yocheved attended Machon Alta, a Chabad seminary for, returnees to Ju for female returnees to Judaism in Sfat, in Sfat uh, here in Sfat, sub uh, where I taught for 40 years. Subsequently, she married and established a Hasidic home. She clearly recognizes how her travels and experiences, including her years as a spy, and of course her connection to the Lubavitcher Rebbe, led her back to Torah. Thank God she was a faithful spy. No, do not bother yourself to ask me her real name. I will not tell. Shavuot Tov.